Assalamu alaikum. My name is Qasim Hamad. I will show you today how to install CUCM 8.0 on VMware. I use a VMware uh, server, but you can use any VMware product that you like, like the VMware player or the VMware workstation. Here on my VMware uh, server, uh, server, I already have three servers installed. CUCM publisher and subscriber and unity connection and all of these servers are running 7.0 now to install CUCM 8.0 we need to create a virtual machine for that server so I will create a virtual machine and I will name it CUCM pub On the operating system, I, I will use Linux operating system, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 332-bit. I will use a 2GB memory, and I will create a new, virtu uh, a new virtual hard disk with 120GB. For the network adapter, we will add a NAT network connection and uh, for the host media we will use physical CD DVD as I have the CUCM DVD if you have an ISO image you would select the use an ISO ISO option there is no need to add a floppy disk or a USB controller and now we are ready to go with the server and now we will turn on the server and we will check also our uh, network adapter virtual network adapter by going to the network adapter VMware 8 and we'll check the IP address as this is going to be our default gateway IP address we'll now open the console interface to the server and now here is the first option as to if we are going to use or perform a media check on our server on the real implementation on MCS servers you would select yes so the software can check for the hardware requirement if it is supported by the server by the software but here for uh, VMware we will select no Although we selected no for uh, for for performing media check, but the software is going at least to check the server resources, the memory and hard disk, if it is capable of running the CUCM product. this will may take uh, some time so at uh, this time I will show you my virtual lab on my laptop I have as I told you I have on the VMware server I have three servers running the publisher subscriber and unity and on GNS3 I have three routers that are connected to my VMware adapter network one of these routers are running CUCME standalone and one of them is running as SRST and the third one is running as a trunk gateway for our CUCM also I have one router acting as a BSTN simulation uh, till the date I was not able to do the correct configuration for the simulation but some people say they were able to do it 
and once I do this configuration I'm planning to record a series on how to set up your virtual lab on your laptop so you can study for CCIE voice lab so if if you have any recommended topology that you would like to see like uh, the INE uh, workbook topology you can recommend it in your comments and I will start recording the series on how to set up th that particular uh, topology You see here that the software already detected that this is a VMware setup and it will check the resources of your VMware machine if you have anything less than 2 GB memory or 160 GB uh, sorry 120 GB of hard disk is uh, the installation will fail and here we will select uh, the CUCM manager In this screen it will tell you which software version available on the DVD and we are going to proceed again here is just an informational window we will proceed now it will ask you if you will would like to apply any upgrade batch and we will not apply any upgrade batch now so we will select no and we will continue here you will select your time zone and for the network card we will enable automatic negotiation by selecting yes for the MTU size, we'll keep it at default, so we'll select no. We will not enable DHCP on this machine, so, we'll let you, so we will select no. Now we, we will enter the manual settings for this server, the host name, CUCM Bob, and you should take note of this host name as you are going to need it when you want uh, you, when you will uh, integrate the CUCM subscriber with this server so you, you should take a note of this host name this is the IP address of our server and the network mask and of course the gateway I want to highlight here that at the time of installation the CUCM server should see the gateway because the server will try to connect to contact the gateway if the server were not able to reach the gateway the installation will fail so in the real, uh, in the real implementation if your server uh, is not connected to the network you can connect the server to your laptop and give your laptop the, the default gateway address next it will ask if we want to enable DNS on this machine we'll select no and this is the username and password for the CUCM administration this is this screen will provide only uh, reference information it will not be used for the implementation it will not affect your implementation so you can put here any information that you want about your setup 
now this is the important step as it's asking whether this server is the first node in the cluster and for the publisher we will select yes here it will ask you if you have an NTP server we will use this uh, publisher server as the NTP server and then select OK this is the password that will be used for integrating integration between the CUCM publisher and subscriber so you need to take note also of this uh, password we will not configure uh, SMTP and this credential is used to log in to CUCM OS uh, operating system administration and now you are ready for the configuration and you can proceed by pressing OK I don't have the required resources to complete the installation on my VMware uh, but uh, in your laptop you will just press OK and the installation will proceed to check the installation you need to go to the IP address of your publisher server here I'm having already a publisher server that is running uh, on 7.0 the basic configuration that you want to do when you finish the installation of the CUCM publisher is to go to the administration page and check that it can load and you can log into the administration page then you need to remove the DNS alliance and I will show you in just a minute how you will be able to do it it will take some time for this server to start up so uh, I will start uh, showing you how to install the CUCM uh, subscriber but first I have to exit from this server and I will delete the publisher you will not do that when you do the installation but because I don't have here the required resources to show you the implementation of both servers at the same time I will create a, a new virtual machine